The June issue of Modern Drama. I don't have you know, I don't have my glasses on. For the love of God, I'm telling you, you get you hit 45 and all the parts start to go like. Anyway, oh, I had to get my glasses on. In this June 2021 issue, yes, sir, yours truly, your Fonzolium host, host of the. See, Marco Miniman's in this. This is Evelyn Glennie. Evelyn Glennie's deaf. And she, honest to God, she plays by feeling the vibrations in her feet. Oh, you know who that is? That's me. Look at that. Terry Keating on three-page article. Or six, technically. I think it would be through the picture. The June issue whoops, of Modern Drummer, or Modern Thummer, as my teacher Phil Stagger used to say. All right. So this is it, Modern Drummer, June of 2021. I actually have a, a, a featured, can you believe that? And that's because of Clem Moss, Clementine Moss, the drummer for Zephyr. That's because of Clementine Moss interviewed me, the drummer for Zepparella. I had no idea it was going to be a modern drummer, and there it is. I have a, I have a spreaded modern drummer. Is that it good enough for Ludwig or Pisces to want to sponsor me? Probably not. Or ask me to sponsor them, actually. You know what I mean? I'm sponsoring them. I'm always talking about their shite. You know why? I love it. I do. I love their stuff. Remo heads, I, I do love. Vic Firth sticks, I really like. Remember, I make my Bonzolium 2A sticks, where I have my main man, Leroy, make them for me. So, I remember, my email address is bonzolium at gmail.com, if you have any questions. Okay? Bonzolium at gmail.com. I do, I do give lessons. I remember I'm not a nearly remotely a technique person at all, but I can teach you, especially if you're younger or coming, well, not younger, but if younger, younger in the drumming department, if you've been just playing not very long or medium long, I think I can teach you some stuff. So bonzolium at gmail.com. I still have some t-shirts left. I think I have 50, like 10 or 12 medium, 10 or 12 large, 10 or 12 XL and 10 or 12 two XL. Those are the only sides I have. They're the white shirt with the blue ink. I have about 20 pairs of the Bonzolium 2A sticks left. Remember, if you want to, bonzolium at gmail.com. Remember, never, ever pay me first. Never, ever pay first and like and just don't like assume that the payment with the information, like, hi, Terry, here's the payment. You got to email me first, bonzolium at gmail.com. Bonomology. George is slaying it over at Bonomology. He only has like 11,500 subscribers. He should have 100,000 all day long. So get the word out on Bonomology. George Flute is killing it over there, murdering it. He's got so many 602s and giant beats. Now he went on a huge buying spree. So he's Bonomology on YouTube, okay? Also to David Ward, musicians on the record, and as well as PFOZ, People's Front of Zeppelin, which George is in, as is Ty, Pete, and Yvonne. So here are the drums that I have. I just literally, this is the second time I, Honest Engine, uh, well, that's an expression in the old days that I should probably not use. Okay, I won't say that. Honest person. This is, I got my Ludwig Superphonic, a late a late model Ludwig Superphonic, which I ha I said I was going to make a video putting a tone control on. That's what my next video will be, putting the tone control on this. I just want to get just a number on top. I have a coded control sound, which I just slapped on there. All right, so what I've been doing, seriously, my second, I've just been playing practicing time. And, and just simple things like that type of stuff. So I'm just trying to get everything up and running my hands. My, I, I've lost my ability to do paradiddles. I just got to do that. And I also, too, you guys have seen, there's, there's a drummer out there named JB, what's his last name? Like JB Cole or something? He's like 15. He's a monster. I'd love to take lessons from him. So, and it's, here's a shout out to people who sent me stuff. Like I got this from a fella. He gave it to me personally at the Arcata Theater. This is Dudesicle. It's like an Oscar. You know what I mean? Uh... That, I, I think it was John, and then I have uh, Bob Henry painted this a while back, which is cool as hell. 
That is that is something else. That's on a drum box, an Evans drum box. And then, where's the license plate? Here, I think Eddie. Is it Eddie? For crying out loud. Yeah, Eddie. The Kentucky Led Zepp. Look at that, Kentucky Led Zepp. You know, it's funny. When I was back in grade school, which now I can... It's kind of scary to say. Son of a... Son of a... Scary to say. I was on the basketball team, and I was brutal. I was worse by the nth power to the next person who wasn't good on the team. I just didn't care... My friend Marcus, he, I was a guard. He was the point guard. He used to, he would just berate me on the court in front of people. I mean, the team and parents watching. I was just horrific. Anyway, the coach of that team, or no, the assistant coach of that team, had a car and he had the Illinois plate, Led Zepp. I remember this. Here's a quick thing that my friend Steve he used to, still howls with laughter at. Steve Esteban Quinn, as he was called by his brothers. Um, I quit the team finally, and then after that, a few other guys quit. So then there was an uproar. Uh, we were in class one day, and and somebody, like I think it was the teacher we had, Mrs. Ryan. She's like, why don't, why don't we just get some girls on the team just to you know fill up the roster and be able to still play games? My friend Marcus, the point guard who used to berate me, <laughs> so we did. They all quit, <laughs> meaning me and the. Now, that was that, that was pretty funny, I must say. But when you're in the receiving end of that shotgun blast, you kind of shrunk down like, you know. All right, so here we are. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do is, since this is the first video I made in three and a half months or three months, I'm going to do a quick giveaway, okay? Pick a number. You get three guesses. Put them in the comments below, okay? You get three guesses. A number in between including zero to a thousand. Okay, so there's a thousand and one technically then things you, that it could be between zero and one thousand inclusive one thousand and zero. You get three guesses. You win. These drums are great. Ludwig still makes and sells these. I think they call them the Ludwig Rocker Piccolo or something. But this one is this one's great. It has a tone control. Eight lug. Remember, I made a lot of videos with I made a few videos with this particular one, but I use a, a different one. Because it has a Remo Emperor, 13 inch. Remember, it's a 13, 3 by 13, 8 log. Great, great drum. I'm giving that away to the first person who guesses the number. Hang on, I got to think of the number. Let me think of the number. I'm thinking of the number right now. Eh. Uh, all right, I got the number. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the number down. Writing the number on my hand. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Okay, the number is picked. <laughs> Whoever guesses it first, I will mail that to you. And what I will also do, I will throw in this issue, the June issue of Modern Drummer. I can't stress that enough. It is so cool. My 15 minutes of fame featured in Modern Drummer. Terry Keating's Bonds Oleum channel has been a fixture on YouTube for the... Ouch. Ouch. <clears throat> I'm tired and my, my hip is hurting. Hang on a second here. So remember Marco Miniman's in this. Evelyn Glennie. Remember, she's deaf. She listens, feels the vibrations with her feet. It's amazing. Okay. Terry Keating's Bonds Oleum channel has been a fixture on YouTube for the wide community of John Bonham devotees since 2008. Keating is prolific with hundreds of videos ranging from playthroughs of songs, a wealth of information about Bonham's gear, and above all, lessons dissecting Bonham's technique. Keating is an accomplished drummer, songwriter, and session player whose love of music is evident in everything he does. I sent him a fan letter a few years, fan letter a few years back. And was thrilled to be able to sit down and talk about our favorite drummer together. Remember, that's Clementine Moss from the band Zepparella, which I'm dying to have them come to Chicago. So thank you, Clem Moss. And to the editor, fella she knew that put this in the article. Um, so that's really, really neat. Know what I'm saying? And it's funny, I, I, I guess I am a session drummer. I think I've, I've been paid to play on less than 20 things so i'm really not a true session drummer but i've done it maybe 20 times you know over the years so that's it they got the serum giveaway 
Um, <clears throat> what else? Does anybody... Oh, so remember, bonzolium at gmail.com. I, again, I have some shirt T-shirts left. Remember, they're white with blue ink. Just email me first. Bonzolium at gmail.com. Do not send any funds. Do not mail me anything. Uh, bonzolium at gmail.com. T-shirts. I have some mugs left, a few, and I have like 30 pair of the Bonzum 2A sticks, which have gotten great reviews. In fact, uh, George over at Bonomology just played a two-and-a-half-hour show, the Osaka show, 929, and he used a pair of the Bonzolium 2As, and they held up the whole time. It's really good to be back, everybody. I, Everybody who happens to be watching this. Again, a very heartfelt thank you to people who like this channel. Makes my life. You know what I mean? Well, my, my wife and daughter make my life, but this makes my life too. Makes me very happy. I must say. I just needed a break. You know what I mean? My brain was kind of like... It was. But now it's all right again. All right. So, uh, there was something... Oh, I know what I wanted to do. And real fast, if anybody's interested in these... I bought these MCA Studio Pro Series microphones, SP1s. Bought these a few years ago. I never use them. They've, they're still in the old box with the old tagger. Anybody interested in these babies? I think you can buy them new now for like 110 <clears throat> I think that's about what I paid. Uh, but I, there was an interesting article where you could do a modification to these. Somebody has an article you could probably find online where you could do a mod, and they sound really, really good. I think they sound good anyway. But I'm selling these two microphones. MCA SP1s, if anybody's interested, bonzolium at gmail.com. Uh, and again, my eBay, I have eBay going on. I'm selling stuff on eBay currently. My username there is Kingish, K I N G I S H. Been a member on eBay since the 50s, but I'm selling stuff, okay? Kingish. Um, <clears throat> and what else? Um, oh, you know what I do have, real fast? As I hawk my wares. I'm hawking my wares in oh. Look at this. Five original copies of Rock Drummers of the 60s. Not the revised. The original 1989. Five copies. It was honest to God a time on, for a little bit, a period of time, where a, a copy of these, a couple copies went for like $200. And then uh, Cianci released the revised issue. But these are, this is a factory sealed plastic Nugget of five, if anybody's interested. Bonzolium at gmail.com. I just want, because I, I got it on eBay. But I figure I might have a bigger audience here. So I just, I just somebody should have this. I just, it's just been sitting here at my house for 15 years. I paid 100 and, well, whatever, what is it? 1990, yeah, I paid $100 for this. And I can't remember I found it. Um, it was, it was interesting, though. And I think I had this. I think I owned this. At the tail of the time, they were like two hundred dollars a piece, and I forgot to put one on. I don't know what happened. I'm just, just losing my mind. All right, so that's it. Again, thank you for watching. More videos on the way. I'm going to set up the drum right here. I have this six and a half, fourteen by twenty six silver sparkle. Okay, uh, which I am selling. Okay, I'm going to sell this 14 by 26 silver sparkle. Bonzolium at gmail.com. I can't send it to you, though, because it requires a 30 by 30 by 20 inch box. That's just below the UPS threshold, but I'm afraid it'll get damaged. When you put one of these in, I'm just so afraid it'll get damaged, but that is for sale, too. It's a 1988 14 by 26 silver sparkle. It has the modular mount on the top. More videos on the way. Again, thank you so sincerely for subscribing and being fans. You know what? We'll take over the world one of these days. We'll rent out Madison Square Garden. Me and George and you guys we will just go in there and set like 17 drum sets up on the stage, take turns banging away. There'll be Matt's chocolate chip cookies and Big Macs galore. Oh, my God. You know what I had for the first time in 25 years was Taco Bell, the regular little tacos. Those were pretty tasty. And I, the next morning, I was just fine. There was no damage. There's another Steve story. Went to visit Steve at Marquette. Had Taco Bell for the first time. We went out drinking that night. Let's just say I probably came very close to death as my bowels were like, oh, it was crazy. That's an interesting story. I, 
Ah, that's a good one. Well, we won't go on with that rated R story. Thanks again for watching. Again, watch my e- my eBay uh, kingish. George at Bonomology. David Ward at Musicians on the Record. PFOZ with George, uh, Ty, Ivan, uh, Ivan, and Pete. Okay? Uh, but there was one other thing I w- did want to say. And it's, it wasn't about hawking my wares. Let me see. So you get, oh, yeah, yeah. So anyway, you get the snare drum, the 3x13 and a copy of Modern Drummer. Let's just leave it at that. More videos on the way. Happy Saturday. And um, and that's it. So keep your eyes peeled for the next video, which will be me installing a tone control on this 6 by 14 Superphonic. And I'm also going to remove the hoops. There's a an S hoop or something on the top and a 2.3 on the bottom. But I'm going to put the 1.6 that I ordered from uh, Drum Factory Direct. I'm going to put this on the drums and put a coated emperor. Thanks for watching. More videos on the way. More videos on the way. Bonzoli at gmail.com.